Holy moly, Dollar Tree has blown it out of the park for the beginning of the year. So come shop with me over at Dollar Tree to find all of the new finds for 2022. I'm gonna show you everything I found walking up and down the aisles in today's Dollar Tree Shop With Me. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina for the Purple Alphabet. Let's go to Dollar Tree, see all the new things. As soon as Christmas went away, everything new came to Dollar Tree, and I cannot wait to show you some of these really great finds, all the Valentine's things, craft things, and a couple of new things here and there in the store. Let's go shop with me. I went to three different stores, you guys, to bring you this Dollar Tree, so you're gonna see a lot. I wanted to mention that all of the Valentine's Day candy is out, lots of good finds here. They actually brought back the chocolate bombs too. They were around during Christmas time. Some of you liked them, some of you didn't like them, but they have them for Valentine's Day. And it's also a great time to pick up the conversation hearts. Don't forget those. In the Valentine's section, lots of different arts and crafts. These were really, really cute wooden boxes that you could decorate, paint, do what you want. They also had some fun cutout love signs and then some blank signs too so you can make your own decor I really like this heart one too be on the lookout for the paint they had all the Valentine's colors the whites the pinks the reds so you can get your craft on found these really cute heart napkins aren't these a lot of fun and they had tons of table decor for parties you had your plates your napkins your little cups and all kinds of different styles and I really think they are adorable I like these back here but I didn't see the plates of these they must be coming also lots of table coverings they all match so these are the patterns that we have this year for Valentine's Day. This little set of containers looked interesting. They came four to a pack and they had different things on the lid so you could put little candy treats in there or maybe use them to organize. The scarves are always a seasonal favorite. Here's a glimpse at what they had this year and then of course they always have the rose petals. These are perfect for sensory bins if you're doing Valentine's Day themed. We saw these around Christmas time too but now they brought them back so these are fun little strings of pom-pom for decorations and I really dig these craft kits look how cute these are it's a little love sign and it has all of the little jewels so you can blitz them out make them really really cute look behind every time you'll find different styles so I found an XOXO and then also this little car that has love on it just look behind so you don't miss all of those here's some ribbon lace these are great for making Valentine's Day boxes for all your Valentine's and they had the odds and ends like the Baker's twine but this time in the Valentine's Day colors here's a couple of felt coasters in hearts and they say love in either pink or red and then they also had a whole bunch of different craft kits here's the pom-pom ones we see these about every single time there's a holiday it rolls around you can make several of these so these are great for a group project or a class project and then we also have the finger puppets last Christmas they had them in the Christmas theme and now we have little Valentine's Day monsters that are really cute new this year I'm pretty sure these are new they're foam roses they come in a couple different colors we also have the confetti which are great put these in sensory bottles those would be really fun to float around in those and then we have table scatter hearts and glitter theme and then also felt stickers so these have the adhesive already on the back these are new they're little appliques with some sequins on the front I saw a couple different styles in these and I was very curious on how you would use these would you use them on a card or crafts I'm not 100% sure but they were a lot of fun and very very colorful I was pretty curious so I am going to go ahead and get one of these just to see what they are these are around every holiday too they're little jars where you can make them into sensory bottles you can put little candy pieces in them you can store craft supplies there's a lot of purposes for them and they have different colored lids a little bit more of that table scatter too these are also great for tinker trays by the way or even making your own valentines found some more of those flowers this time in a different color scheme and they have glitter on them they have sticky paper on the back of them so you could adhere them to something or even a gift or a card a couple different colors in those and then some more craft kits look at these they have little valentine hearts on them and they have sayings on them and they come several to a package so you can do some for a whole class or a whole group project too or maybe if you're doing multiple valentines valentine's day themed stickers and of course the easels we see these all the time this time we have some different styles they come with the canvas the paint the paintbrush and also the little easel holder so you can put it on there while you're painting and to display it we have a whole bunch of treat bags which are a lot of fun if you want to do individual treats for a classroom and these little treat boxes too are come several to a package and then I found some more of those easels and some more different styles. 
We have some glitter vase filler, which is also great for sensory bottles too. And then a lot of other hard to decor that has glitter on it. Be careful, the glitter does come off. Here's your look at all of the Valentines. Every single thing you can possibly imagine can be found here. And while I was looking at those, I found some more felt puppet kits. These are a little bit different than the other ones and they are animals. Gotta love all of these. They are little bags, but they're made out of a really thick cardboard. So they make a great display or a great gift because they stand up on their own versus a paper bag and then these little boxes I used last year with my kids and I still have them they worked really really great to put some treats in and to give a valentine to my kids lots of different signage with all kinds of different sayings on them love the panda because we like pandas in our house and then of course we have all the little trinkets so the pencils we see every season but I really do like the designs this year especially for the valentine's day ones so I really think these are a good find especially if you're giving some giveaways or treat bags to the kids and then we have the erasers the sticker boxes and also the individual pull apart valentines we see these every single year so nothing new there these are also a repeat the fortune cookies there's a little fortune inside if you try them let me know what you thought about them i'm a fan of the little notepads too because they come several to a package and then the rings we always see the valentine's day rings. so nothing really really new as far as the party favors go it's pretty much things we've seen in the past after year after year after year at dollar tree what is new is this cake topper how cute are these they're they are different styles and you can put them on top of a cake already made and then we have the love balloons which you just blow up and they spell out the word love now here's the signage I usually give you a big glimpse of the signage I don't go through them individually so take a look pause the video see what there is there is a lot right now I'm also going to show you a little bit of the gift bag selection the gift bags looked super super adorable like the selection there and then there's a whole bunch of other decor so just take a look and see what they have I'll be back Kind of digging the sign right here with the sequence on it and then you have a chalkboard where you can put your own message we have some more clips this time valentine's day theme i'm kind of loving the ones here i'm going to show you at the bottom with the little rainbows how cute are those you can color them and use them for fine motor activities if you wanted to i think they are great we have a couple of more signage here envelopes with hearts on them and then we have these wind chime kits these are great we've actually made one of these before that was a rocket one and they work really really well so you paint them up it comes with the paint and the paint brushes and some string and then also the chimes to make your own wind chime so this is actually a really fun project and it's great to hang it up and have a little wind chime so highly recommend that a couple little odds and ends and finds here we have some hearts that are made out of kind of a chipboard and some lips and then the word love over here some more wooden signage to decorate I thought that was kind of funny but I really really do like these hanging things over here there's three bears hanging all in a row I think that's adorable or they have the three hearts or actually four hearts hanging we have some wooden signage this is actually wood and not that um thick paper so that was kind of cool to see those they're cut out for you in love and xoxo some beaded ribbon here but it doesn't come with a lot but it did have a lot of colors on it great for decorating a valentine's day box and then we have some burlap bags this time in the hearts and then we also have the ones we've seen in previous years here with the one heart these come three to a package in either the pink or the red so they just have a burlap sack you can put some treats inside or you can even decorate it with a cricket if you wanted to on top a little bit more wood signage that i missed at this store and then you guys can you believe it they're already bringing out the St. Patrick's Day things. So I wanted to show you a real quick glimpse of it. I'm not going to go in detail. Kind of have my eye on all of these over here. You know, I use those for sensory bins. They are perfect in all of those golden colors for St. Patrick's Day. So that was a fun find. And then of course the socks. My kids are always needing those and some hats. And they did have a little tiny bit of Easter. I'm not going to get into it just yet. We will get there. But can someone tell me, are these any good coffee peeps? I'm not sure you guys, I'm not sure. I have to put those back. If you like them, let me know. I'm actually really curious. Let's move on to the craft section. We have a couple of new finds over here. I, my store did have a lot of these canvases, so I wanted to point out if you are into the arts, check those out. We also have some tempera spray paint. So it's just like a little spray bottle and you squirt it out. They come two to a package and they have a big selection of colors. That'd be fun for some art projects. And then the giant glitter, you guys are back. 
These are fabulous. I almost bought one in every color because we go through glitter glue like you wouldn't believe. I mean, it's just a thing. These little craft kits are back too. We saw these around Christmas time. I think that's a steal. Tons of new fabric. If you watched my paper doll kit over on my Cricut crafting channel, I showed how I use these to make some really fun paper doll clothes. Go watch that video. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but there's some really cute patterns this time. We also have big rolls of felt in and all the different colors as well. I haven't tried this. So I'm not sure on the quality. Someone will have to tell me. Lots of string here. And then of course, all the little organizer boxes, which are great for storing all kinds of trinkets in the craft section are back in four different colors. New find, I think it's new, Puzzle Saver. Has anyone tried this? Does it work? Is it a good find? Let me know. I really am curious on this one. And then we also have some really, really cool yarn packages. Check this out. This is three little balls of yarn in really pretty colors. And then there's also a blue themed one. This would be a lot of fun if you have somebody who's just starting to learn how to crochet or you maybe want to use this for craft projects. I just thought that was a fun find. Let's head on over to the office section. We have some little pen caddies here in two different colors. This is a new one I haven't seen before at all at Dollar Tree. So I was very happy to see a new style in the pencil cups. In the toys, we have some new packaging for the games. We usually see these games, but this one is coming too to a package. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then also, some new Dr. Seuss to go activities. So this is like comes with the crayons, the stickers and a little activity book, some Crayola felt flowers projects. Usually the Crayola projects are pretty good. Had a couple different styles in making your own felt flowers. Mini games are also a new find over here. We have low down go and dose go, which is a form of Uno, but they're like super tiny, like half the size of a card. We've had some new fidgets. These are the zipper fidgets that you can wear as bracelets. Great for fine motor practice. They come a couple to a package. They also have these new stretchy pals. There's a couple different styles in this and different colors. They stretch and have a really cool texture to them. So great sensorial play for that. And then of course those little pop tubes are also back. This is a score. They are smaller than ones that you'll probably find on Amazon. They're the smaller size, but they come to, to a package too. These are all great finds. Highly recommend all of them. I've showed this before in the past. It's the air dough, except my store came out with a couple more different styles than I've seen. I feel like they sell pretty, pretty quickly. They come with the instructions and the um, clay or the dough and it air dries. And I'm curious to know your experience. I'm thinking about a toy test on these just to see how they hold up. I really like the avocado though. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So let me know if you've tried it because I am very curious about these too. Also new are these smaller poppets. So these are smaller than the other ones we've seen before, but they look like they're a different brand and they come in four different colors. So I was really happy to see these. These are a really great find and an affordable one at that. Then over in the teacher section, look at this. They are blank books four to a package. Now the ones over at Target are $3 and you get a couple more per package, but they have two different styles here. This is really cool to see that Dollar Tree is carrying the blank books now. And then also a fun find are these highlights flashcards where it has a seek and find on it. So you're going to find four cars and four trucks or whatever number on each flashcard. This is a great to go activity. If you find these, I highly recommend them. They also come in alphabet. This is really a great find and will actually grow with your child. It's a good one. If you like this video, I'm going to put another one up here on the screen that I think you will also like. I'll see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.